Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. You know, it should be quite apparent, well, it is quite apparent to me, that you could have two people looking at the same exact thing and see it so differently. And what that would represent to me is that we operating off a different stimulus, right? For us not to understand what um, is going on, okay? And so with that being said, I think it's really important that y'all understand something about music. This is taken from an OG, okay? Music has the ability to soothe a savage beast. Or it has the ability to make you a beast. You can take that music and go into war. And, and what they call it, just do away with everybody. That's an op. Okay, you can take that music, let it be a, a mantra to your march, and you will come out victorious. Okay, it all depends on what kind of music it is. And for a lot of musicians, that's how we see rap music. Rap music is like a death march. And so for those of y'all who haven't noticed... You had to be a fool if you don't notice it within the last 10 years. Like, even more. Even more. That it's a, it's a music. It's a march that's leading you straight to death. And I say that because y'all forget that Lucifer was an angel of music. Y'all forget about Lucifer. You forget that he... Tamed all the angels and corrupted them with his music. Now, as society has gone on, and those of us who are have been such the innovators of such music, jazz, um, rock and roll, R and B, we've now allowed the enemy to infiltrate rap music and turn it into a death march. Because, you know, you remember when rap first came out, they was talking that you're headed for self-destruction. Self-destruction. We're headed for self-destruction. Y'all remember that? Uh, do y'all remember when Public Enemy said to you to fight the power? Fight the power, that be, well, we'll start with the Isley Brothers, but fight the power was the mantra. Somehow this whole mindset has been infiltrated by the demonic forces, just like when you hear this, uh, the term woke now. Woke was a term that we used to say we was on point. Now the Republican Party has hijacked the word, turned it into something crazy, and now they go, oh, this is where woke comes to die. First of all, y'all, we are going to have to wake up. We are going to have to wake up to the death trap that has been set for us and that has made us perpetually miserable, just like Willie Lynch said we would be. He said we're going to be perpetually miserable forever. If you implement this this stuff that I got, you don't ever have to worry about these people because they're going to be too ignorant and stupid to fix their own condition. And anybody that try to set out a lifeline for them to do something about their situation, to get them out of the hellhole that they was brought up in. They get rejected as not keeping it real. Not being hard enough. All kinds of craziness. 
So I can tell you this. Anytime you listen to music and every time you hear it, it makes you want to pull out a gun and, and, and rap the gun. I, I have a problem with them people like NBA Youngboy. A dude that young got all them damn kids all and all of them in, into the third. Yeah, I said it. His mama ain't said it. His mama ain't told him how to stick his pecker in, uh, and keep his uh, uh, sperm as if it's gold. No, he go pissing on every fire hydrant just like a dog. And this, accept this behavior has become acceptable just like it was on a plantation. That's one of the reasons why I can't stand uh, uh, Nick Cannon. And somebody said, "Oh, we just gonna keep on having, keep on having babies for what? To be slaves? To be slaves? Well, hell, you might as well not birth nothing else if you birthing in slaves. These these Negroes ain't birthing in no new Africans, no new revolutionaries." You think Nick is birthing a revolutionary with that fake turban wearing ass dude? Huh? You can look at his women and see that that's not the case. Now we got John Morant, who's well worth over 200 something million dollars or could possibly have been. And because he turned on the hypnotic, destructional music. Of an NBA young boy. And I'm not making an excuse for him. So don't don't take that. Because I get sick and tired of y'all saying. Uh uh. You know he young. He young. LeBron James never did that. That's why I respect LeBron. For, for nothing else. He came in. He realized who he was. And he realized who the NBA was as a corporation. A multi. Billion dollar conglomerate. He realized that. He's ripping them. Okay? Now, if you see him out partying and kicking it and whatever, he still remembers. You might see him with a drink in his hand, maybe. But he is totally aware that he's worth billions of dollars because of the NBA. And he was always conscious of it before he got the billion dollars. He is a role model and an example for any young brother to look at. LeBron James, nobody, you can't, you can't spot his NBA life. He ain't been involved in those scandals. You ain't seen him with guns. If anything that they got mad at LeBron James about is because he spoke out for Black Lives Matter. And that's a good problem to have. I'd rather for you to speak out on that. Then I sit up here and be waving these damn guns so they can put you in the category of somebody that's totally irresponsible. Even though we see white boys walking up and down the street with AR-15s and all types of... That ain't the world we live in, though. When they see us with a gun, they want to shoot. Right? So I get it. That he hasn't done anything wrong in terms of being in a, uh, a open carry state. And all that's true. But he represents the NBA. And when you represent the NBA, you can't act like you just representing your family or your homeboys. You have to represent with the billion dollar corporations that sponsor you that shouldn't be a hard pitch for you to understand shouldn't be hard at all in fact it's very easy to understand okay and so far um this young man hasn't been standing up and doing the right thing and he hasn't been repping himself uh well at all don't no billion dollar conglomerate want uh, no street niggas representing them as the face of the league. Okay? It's not what they want. And by gosh, they get what they want. So my suggestion, and this is, I, 
I see now that it is him. It's not an old. Um, I said I wasn't going to make a comment until I found out a little bit more. But my advice would be to John Moran and especially his mother, who's younger than me, is like, girl, don't. You should be harboring. I don't know what kind of family you got. If you think because you all got money now, you gonna put help put your son in harm's way. And the reason why I say that is because he went in the beginning. He went to these places, call himself defending his mama and his sister. Remember. So it's up to his mother, as well. To say, look, I don't need you to defend me. I've been defending myself since before you was born. And because you got money now, that's all the more why I don't need you to defend me. I can defend myself. So I'm putting the whole family on notice. That arrogant, that pompous behavior that y'all think because you got money that you can just walk through this world now shitting on people. Or doing things and to draw the negative attention to yourself, you going you better stop, or you gonna lose every damn thing that you got, everything God has blessed you with, generational wealth. Y'all gonna blow it all because Jah wants to flash guns. Tenetrius wants to flash guns. I don't even want to call you Jah. Jah is elevated. Jah means God. What kind of God are you? So maybe we should call you Tenetrius. Because you're certainly not acting like a God right now. And that's all I wanted to say. I wanted to get that off my chest. Because I'm a little pissed. That this boy got the opportunity with all this money. And this is what he wants to do. Represent thug life. And I don't mean the hate you gave little infants. <laughs> I don't mean that. Anyway. If you like what you hear. Please like, subscribe and share the channel. I'll see you in the next video.